TND Sports and exclusive video broadcast. Sports Video Productions presents the Orlin and Cohen High School Basketball Game of the Week. Today is the championship game in the girls division of the Nassau Suffolk Catholic High School Athletic Association. Hi everyone and welcome to Nold Hall on the campus of Farmingdale State College right here in Farmingdale for our Orlin and Cohen High School Basketball Game of the Week. My name is Mike Trezza. I'm joined by Locust Valley girls coach Mike Godone. And Mike, let's talk about Sacred Heart for a minute. They had to pull out all the stops Friday night on the road at St. Anthony's to advance to this game. Never easy to go on the road, Mike, and win a game, especially in the Catholic League semifinals, but they pulled it out. They have great senior leadership. We'll be talking about Amy Kiernan in a couple of minutes, just about what she can do for a game. Uh, but not really a surprise that they won that game. Although anytime, like I said, you go on the road in a semifinal, you got to play really well to pull it out. And you mentioned it, Mike. Any discussion of Sacred Heart has to start and end with their senior leader, number zero, Annie Kiernan. She's going to Bentley. It's a fantastic school, fantastic level. You know, anytime that she's in the game, she gives them a chance, especially against a tough St. Mary's team. Uh, literally a double-double all the time, can shoot from outside, can play inside as well, and a force on defense. Let's talk about Sacred Heart, uh, actually St. Mary's for a minute. They've rolled through this league this year, 12-0 and in league play, really dominating everybody, every team that they played, and really impressive, athletic, and deep is this team. As you mentioned, it says pay attention to details on the back of their shirts, on their warm-up shirts, and that's certainly what they do all the time. It begins with Destiny Robinson, as you said before, a team of destiny, number zero. She's a walking double-double as well. Uh, only a sophomore, but the entire team, even though they retool, it's really they just reload each year. Destiny Robinson's been a force for this team on the glass this year. We're going to step away. We'll be back with the opening tip-off and all the action right after this. This is TND Sports Video Productions. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, this is your one stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time.
Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Just about set for the opening tip-off from here at Nold Hall in Farmingdale State College. Sacred Heart against St. Mary's. Mike Trez on hand, along with Mike Cadone to bring you all the action. And the starting lineup's being introduced now, Mike, for Sacred Heart. They'll start with Elwood and Sussman in the backcourt. Frone, Kiernan, and Thiek up front for St. Mary's. They will start with Cubero and Carr in the backcourt, Maldonado, Thompson, and Destiny Robinson, who we spoke about. There you see her on your screen. Destiny Robinson, a player who can get you 10 rebounds really by just stepping out on the court. Averaged 14 boards, 11 points. You know what, Mike, today, if she gets going on the offensive end and is scoring, it's going to be a real tough task for Sacred Heart. Got Off. about a 65 degree day outside, but in here it's a perfect 72 degrees. We our could be playing this game outside. Yeah, listen, hey, our officials. Very experienced group led by Kaz DeLillo, Tommy Sheehan, and Ralph Fornalis. I can tell you I've had all three in my games over the years on all levels. Three very solid officials. The legendary Costa. The legendary. Let's take a look at our coaching matchup. Mike, Bob Speck has been at the helm for 25 years for Sacred Heart. And of course for St. Mary's, it's Kevin White at the helm. So two coaches, nothing's gonna surprise them today. We talked to them both yesterday. They're ready, have great game plans. Now all he can do is just throw the ball up and see where we go. Frone and Robinson will jump it up. Robinson wins the tip. St. Mary's in the white, moves left to right. They Sacred swing Heart it outside. Going man to man. Maldonado gives it off up top to Cubero. Now Robinson, right side Cubero. Here's a move inside by Carr. Her shot won't go. Rebound that time by Feek. Good start for Sacred Heart. Defensive rebound, bring the ball up, run your offense the way you want to go here. Almost a steal that time, but Sussman gets it back. Nice feed inside. Frone can't hit the shot. And it's going to stay with Sacred Heart. Good feed inside. Number 10, From. A little nervous here at the beginning, probably. But good to see for Sacred Heart for them to break pressure and be able to attack the glass. Mary Kate Sussman's going to step to the line. Well, actually, they're going to inbound the ball. Up top, they get it Elwood. Now Sussman at the wing. Here's Frome from deep. She can't get that one down. Rebound is stolen by Sacred Heart. There's a scramble on the floor, and they're going to call it a tie-up. Fantastic job right there. See here, it's scrappy. In these games, you need that kind of effort, especially against the St. Mary's team, if you're going to pull this one out. They're going to keep the ball with Sacred Heart. Reset the shot clock to 30, as Thiek is going to get set to inbound it get a look at her. Feet gets it in up top. Here's a shot from deep. That one's off the mark, and it's rebounded by St. Mary's. Back the other way is Maldonado inside to Robinson. She scores. Tough one right there. You can see as soon as the shot's missed, St. Mary's gets the ball. They're out, and within two, three dribbles, the ball's already in the basket. First score of the game puts St. Mary's up by a bucket. Just underway here, first quarter. Here's a near steal. 
They get it across to Feet, and we've got a travel called on Throne. Excellent job by St. Mary's there, double teaming the pick, the high screen and roll. You can see the pressure forcing the ball, you know, 20 to 30 feet away from the basket. Go, step up Scarlett Cubero brings it up. Now Robinson makes the move inside with the left hand. That shot's no good. And Kiernan pulls it down. Nice rebound, Mike. What you see? Give her a sliver of room. Destiny's going to the basket. Kiernan looking to post up. Got to get her a touch. They deny her the entry pass. Scramble on the floor. And this time it's going to go to St. Mary's. You can see Sacred Heart trying to get the ball into Kiernan. Good idea. The only problem is St. Mary's is kind of sloughing off on defense. You know, good game plan. Trying to create a little bit of defense up top. And when the ball gets low. Layla Carr triggers it into Cuvero, who walks it up the floor. Oh, nice screen inside and roll. Beautiful job that time. Maldonado puts it home. Maldonado, great curl to the basket, and they found her. Here's Sussman. Drive to the hoop, that goes. You know, you know it's early in the game, but that's a critical basket, Mike. Cubero back the other way quickly. Into the corner. Drive inside, Maldonado. She gets that home. You can see Sam Mary's game plan attack the basket early, not relying on the outside shot. Kiernan brings it up herself, and we've got a foul going on St. Mary's. Layla Carr whistled for the personal. It's a little understated sometimes, Mike, but here you are in SUNY Farmingdale, big court. Baskets are you know, far away from the stands. Shooting is a little tough. So if you can attack the basket like St. Mary's, you know, even though they're a young group, that's a veteran move. Haley Elwood, the point guard, will send it in. As my players Gwen, Caitlin, Kate, and Kate at home can attest, that's what you have to do on this court. Gets it in front, gets it back. Swings it around to Feek. She's doubled, gives it up. Now this side is thrown, puts it up against two, and drops it in. Nice mid-range shot right there. Taking their time, handling the pressure, and then again a turnover right now. You can see both players dropped off to play Kiernan. From turns inside, nice and easy, takes a shot and hits. And that's how they're going to stay in it, is those shots being hit by the supporting cast. Patience and take what the defense gives you. It's knocked away. Here's Robinson back the other way. Robinson puts it up. It won't go. Thompson offensive board. Back inside to Robinson, she banks it in. Didn't worry about the first miss, just reposted, got the ball, went up strong with the second. Here's Frone. Ball's knocked away, but it's gonna stay with Sacred Heart. Critical for Sacred Heart here, and, and you can see Coach taking a timeout. Once they get the ball over half court, gotta settle down and run your stuff. We got a 30 second timeout, Sacred Heart will step away. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Getting set to get back underway. St. Mary's leading Sacred Heart 8 to 4, 415 left in the first. From here at Farmingdale State, Mike Trezor, Mike Adone on hand, along with our T&D crew. Carr, here's a steal by Thiek. Thiek is doubled, stops, and waits for help. Elwood outside, banks it home for three. A great movement right there out of the double team, Mike. Swing, 
She's smiling because she knows the bank's open on Sunday as well. 8-7 St. Mary's, 3.45 left in the first. Coming out of a timeout, getting a steal and a three, can't ask for more. Nice dish inside to Robinson. She sticks it in. Boy, you can tell anytime she catches the ball in the post, just smooth, gathers herself, and powers it up. Haley Elwood across to Kiernan. Now Theek, they're all over her. She gives it up on the baseline drive. We've got a whistle. Looks like the call it stepped out on the line. Huge advantage here, Mike, for St. Mary's that they're allowed to trap and be a little physical. Same Sacred Heart handling it all right, but that's a tough task for this entire game. Our official Tommy Sheehan all over that call. He's seen it all. Corner jumper, that's off the mark. Thompson offensive board, sends it back outside. Another shot from deep won't go. And finally, Frone cleans the glass. Now Sussman right wing. Inside to Frone, she banks it home. Frone has come to play today. She's stepping up early as St. Mary's takes Kiernan out. Great job right there. 10-9, St. Mary's on top, two and a half left in the first. Shot from the left side from Robinson won't go. And again, Frome pulls it down. Feek brings it up, they double. Here's Sussman, right side. Shot won't go. Thompson with the board. Trying to take it coast to coast. And she's fouled on her way to the hoop. Tremendous speed off the dribble. Sacred Heart tried to plug the gap. Had a little bit of a trouble there. We're looking for not the soft call. You can see they were a little, a little disappointed. Elwood whistled for the personal. Into the game for St. Mary's, Kayla Solomon. We'll talk about her in just a minute. Up top, Maldonado backs up on the dribble. Now gives it off to Thompson. Sacred Heart giving a lot of space off the dribble here. Daring St. Mary's to shoot. Maldonado got the pick and put it in. Took the screen, drove right off of it with two players on her and still was able to convert. 12-9 St. Mary's. Nice ball movement. Here's Thiek, too strong. Offensive board, here's Frome. Yes, from the baseline. From single-handedly keeping Sacred Heart in this first quarter. 12-11 St. Mary's down to a minute and a half left in the first. Cubero dribbles outside, gives it off to Kayla Solomon. Sacred Heart switching to the zone here, Mike, on this possession. Inside to Robinson, she spins, she's blocked. Good block by Kiernan. Big time block right there. Hasn't established herself offensively yet, but there's no problem for the young ladies. A minute left in the quarter. Double teamed outside is Elwood. Here's Kiernan from deep. Shots off the left side of the rim. Good sign though for Sacred Heart being able to pass out of the double team, get the ball to Kiernan for a shot. Really impressed with how they're handling the pressure. Maggie Miller into the game for Sacred Heart. First girl off the bench for them. Down to 40 seconds left in the quarter. As Cubero gives it off to Priester, who's now in. Here's Robinson from the baseline, too strong. Knocked around underneath, and Frone comes away with it. Hands off to Elwood. Ball's knocked away from behind. And there's a turnover going St. Mary's way. Official Tom Sheehan saw her step on the line before the contact. As if it was clockwork, I must have jinxed them. I said there was a great job by them handling the pressure. And then unfortunately they step on the line. Gives the last possession here to St. Mary's. Let's see if they hold for one or if they attack. 
Kayla Solomon just working her way back into the lineup after a broken foot. She was recruited by Stony Brook after her freshman year. You can see the poise, the handle. Robinson up top, Cabero. She's double teamed and she walked. Great job on the help the Sacred Heart defense. 3.9 seconds left on the clock. See if they can at least get a shot off. The last thing you want to do is turn the ball over here. Take a look at Coach Bob Speck. As I mentioned, 25 years in charge for him. Down to one second. Launch from deep, shot won't go, and that's the end of the first. We've got a good one. Our score after one quarter of play, St. Mary's 12, Sacred Heart 11. We'll step away and be back with more right after this. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. <laughs> Incredible pass. Look at Johnson on the other end. And then a goal back for for Farmingdale. Double comes every time Spillina beats it. He's got to give it up. He does to his brother who scores. Spillina to Spillina. We have Leonetti behind her. Batika fires and a save by Bowden. Her fourth already. Fourth in seven minutes. And another one! Oh my, what instincts! And her minning score! Gives it up, McNamara. He rips it and he scores! Start of the second quarter here at Farmingdale. Mike Trezor, Mike Cadone. Mike, we wondered how long Sacred Heart could stand the heat. And so far, they're handling it pretty well. Senior laden team. I'll tell you, I don't think that Coach Bob Speck could have asked for a better start out of his team. A couple of hiccups here and there, but they're making St. Mary's play in the half court, and they're handling the pressure on the other end really, really well. Thompson up top, Robinson around the horn. Now back up top, Robinson. Sky Priester in the right corner, feeds the post. Back outside, Maldonado. Deep shot from Solomon, and she's fouled. She's going to get three. Yesterday. Tough call Yesterday. right there on number 22, Colleen Feet. Number 22, Colleen So we mentioned Kayla Solomon as you look at her on your screen at a central islip. Eight points a game. Just working her way back from that broken foot she suffered earlier in the season. Better move first. there, Mike. Because I'll tell you, she's got the three off. It's a little suspect whether there was contact, but she sold the foul. Can't get the second one down. Worst case scenario out of this makes one. If you're Sacred Heart, you're real happy about that. Could have been disastrous. Gets the third one to roll in and put St. Mary's up by a pair. Full court pressure once again. Miller gets it in. They break the press kind of easily. Get it across to Maggie Miller. She's doubled and she travels. Seems to be a little uneven here. At times they're letting them take a step past the ball. Other times not so much. I guess it depends on what angle you have. Tiana Thompson, another of these sophomores for Coach White. Priester off the front iron and pulled down by Maggie Miller. Miller with Solomon tightly on her. Here's Elwood looking for room. Had Kiernan in the high post, but missed her. 
Now they get it into Kiernan, and Kiernan is quickly fouled. First time we've seen a little frustration from Kiernan. She was open on the high post. Coach Bob Speck was calling for her to get the ball there. But they eventually found her, got the foul. Foul goes on Maldonado. That's number one on her. Kiernan's up top. Fires it from three. Too strong. Knocked around underneath. And it's going to go over to St. Mary's. It looked like it went off them last, though. It did, but as you mentioned, Cosdalillo, who's seen it all under there. Once or twice, I've disagreed with him when he's had my games. Once or twice. Priester dribbles right side. Robinson swings it around to Thompson. Nice feed of the post. Robinson can't hit, and it's pulled down by Frome. Good ball movement. Miller looking for help. Up top, Elwood. Elwood drives baseline. Gets her own. Outside Kiernan for three. No good. Drove into triple pressure. Got her own rebound and got it out for a shot. Kiernan yet to find the range, though. Thompson throws it up. Little out of control on that shot, and it's going to go over to Sacred Heart. St. Mary's going to take a quick 30 here. 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. You know, Mike, the game of basketball, it's just so interesting. First quarter, up and down, uh, good pace to it. You figure everybody's kind of used to each other by then. And then to start the second quarter, really sloppy, not great shooting, a couple of turnovers here and there. Uh, excellent, you know, timeout used by Coach White to kind of settle his group down and say, hey, what are we looking to do here? Let's get everything together. Once Sacred Heart went to the zone, they're doing a good job getting the ball inside but haven't been able to hit from out. And Friday night, you and I will be over at Holy Trinity for two New York State finals in the girls' division. So I'm looking forward to that that night. Just a great time of year. You got Long Island finals, state qualifiers, great time. And we've got Johnny Sticks, John Santa Maria on the mic. What more can we ask? It's the dream team. Sacred Heart gets it into Kiernan. Tries to get it long to Frone. Frone keeps it in, but it's going back the other way. Kiernan tries to steal. It goes off her, and it's going to go St. Mary's way. That's what experienced players do. She's caught the ball, made a tough pass up court. Could have hung her head, but said, no, I'm going to get back into it. Thompson gives it off Solomon. Priester looking in. Thompson right side. Priester stops, pops, can't get it to go. Frome pulls it down. Frome looks inside Kiernan. Banker won't go. Robinson clears the glass. A lot of contact on that one, Mike. Solomon up top, Priester. Left corner, Thompson, she drives baseline, and she has the ball stolen by Thief. Now the inexperience, the youth on St. Mary's is being tested. It takes a Thief. <laughs> Elwood. Long shot from Thief is well short, and it's going over to St. Mary's. Cubero back in for St. Mary's. Think number 22, she came up short on that three. She tapped herself on the shoulder, said, my bad. Realized she shot a little too quickly. Had plenty of time if she wanted to step into it. But still a two-point game here, Mike. St. Mary's works it around the perimeter. Kayla Solomon between the legs. Now she drives up with the left hand. Shot's no good. Another board by Frome. Sacred Heart doing an amazing job here, limiting them to one shot on each possession. Feet is harassed, gives it up. Elwood over to Kiernan. 
Sussman, right elbow jumper, no good. Mike, you almost get the feeling one team hits a shot or two here, they're gonna start to pull away. Priester, up top, directs traffic. Cabero, right wing. Guarded tightly by Sussman. St. Mary's going to a little bit of a flex offense here. Solomon launches, out of control shot, and Kiernan pulls it down. I don't think I've seen St. Mary's look this out of whack at any time. Up inside! Up inside! Inside to phone, she banks it home. She's done a fantastic job all game long. Screen and roll right there. Kiernan being unselfish, finding it. Now we're tied 13 all. 2.45 left in the half. Maldonado with the spin. Is Robinson left baseline jumper goes. Almost a sigh of relief when she hit that shot. Two and a half left in the second. St. Mary's up by a deuce. Here's Thiek on the drive. Puts it in. Attacking the basket, playing at their pace. No wonder the Sacred Heart faithful here are making a charge. 2.10 left in the second quarter. The team's knotted at 15. Priester, again guarded by Sussman. Gives it up Solomon. Robinson looks for help. Priester drives, banks it home. Nice job there by St. Mary's being patient against the 3-2 zone. Found the seam on the reversal. Kiernan swings it around. Sussman looks inside and is a turnover. Priester back the other way. She's grabbed by feet. You know, Mike, Sacred Heart. Only down two with, with over two minutes here to go in the first half. You'll see on the replay. Good ball movement. You can see against the 3-2 zone. Fouls the seam. Nice bank shot to put him up to. Claire Fitzpatrick into the game for St. Mary's for the first time, number two. Inside it goes, Maldonado. Shot's no good. Feet cleans the glass. St. Mary's going a little smaller here for the last minute and a half. Tried to get the ball into a guard. Feet pumps it inside to Kiernan. Kiernan launches the three. She hits. Can't say enough about Sacred Heart and Kiernan. You can see how happy they are. Great players make big plays. And you can see every time that Kiernan gets the ball, she is not upset about the fact that she hasn't scored. Hits a teammate on the weak side. You'll see it right here, Mike. Gets the ball up off a of ball reversal. Has plenty of time and hits it. For her, a sigh of relief. Lots of smiles. Quick timeout here by Kevin White. Hey, take a look at Coach Bob Speck. We talked about him a couple times. Former New York City fireman. Well, well listen. he is on the job in New York City at a firehouse, and now 25 years coaching girls basketball. Well, God bless him for that. He's seen everything. A tight basketball game in the Catholic League Finals is nothing for him. He's got to be very happy at the pace this game has been going. You know, St. Mary's wants to get this game in the 60s, high 50s, even get up to 70. And right now, only 17 points in the first half. St. Mary's triggers it in. And it's Kubero who brings it up the floor. Into the lane. Fitzpatrick's open for three. Shot won't go. It's chased down by Elwood. Sigurdard went 2-3 on that possession, giving him a little different look coming out of the time. Elwood still with possession. Looking for help inside. Guarded tightly by Priester. Here's a turnover. Back the other way, Kubero. 
Solomon has Kiernan on her. Down to 12 seconds left in the half. Cabrera looking for the last shot. Down to three. Priester to Maldonado. And that's going to be the end of the first half. We've got a good one. Our halftime score, Sacred Heart on top of St. Mary's, 18 to 17. We'll step away and be back with the second half right after this. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. A bro, heats it deep. What a catch that time. Harmon will take it himself. Nice roll, breaks a tackle, he's in the clear. Harmon in for the touchdown. Takes it himself. Down to the goal line, he's in. Bilal is gonna pass, airs it out, end zone. Touchdown, Oceanside! Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Well, it's going to pass. Airs it out. End zone. Touchdown, Oceanside! Inside the 15. Straight up the teeth on the return. O'Toole at the 20. O'Toole is going to score! They flush him out of the pocket. He takes off. Looking for the left sideline. Down to the goal line. Touchdown, Big Park! Experience, trusted, proven, excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production, the industry standard, TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. 
all sports, all levels, all the time. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Welcome back to Nold Hall here at Farmingdale State College for our girls' championship game brought to you by Orlin and Cohen. Mike Trezza on hand along with Mike Godone. Sacred Heart, a little bit of a surprise, Mike, leads St. Mary's 18-17 here at halftime. Mike, I think even bigger than the score itself is just the pace that the game's been played at. Uh, Sacred Heart for sure wanted to play the game you know, from foul line to foul line, try to move the ball, keep it under control. St. Mary's, of course, is a full court press, get it out and run. Sacred Heart's done a great job at switching up zone, man, kind of confusing St. Mary's, not allowing them to get into much of a groove. You take a look at the Sacred Heart crowd right behind us. They've been loud. They've been enthusiastic. What has there been for them to cheer about here in this first half, Mike? Well, senior Emma Frome has really taken over. She's had 10 points in the half each time. St. Mary's tried to take away Kiernan. She's done a fantastic job of just being able to roll, get the ball back, hit some big shots when time was running down. She's really been the key. And then Kiernan's got involved here late in the half of big three. That's kind of been the story. But without Emma Frome, I don't know where Sacred Heart would be right now on the offensive end. For St. Mary's, we saw Coach White kind of having a few words with his girls from time to time. What was there about their play in the first half, Mike, that you thought might have displeased them? Well, half-court offense was a bit of a bugaboo for them. Like I was mentioning before, Sacred Heart switching up, playing a little 2-3, three, 3-2, three, went man-to-man -man on the last one. And they have been able to get into a groove. The more Sacred Heart handles pressure, the less it is likely for St. Mary's to get out and run and score easy buckets. So Sacred Heart doing a great job of frustrating St. Mary's, making them shoot from the outside. If they can find the range a little bit here in the second half, I think it'll be much to their advantage. But, you know, once again, it all starts with pressure, and I think you're going to see Coach White ramp it up here in the second half. We're going to be back with the second half and all the action right after this. This is the girls' championship game of the NSCHSAA right here on t and Sports Video brought to you by Orlin and Cohen. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Experience. Trusted, proven, excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production, the industry standard, TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, 
all the time. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Second half about to get underway. You look at Coach White and his huddle. We didn't get a chance to run down their scoring leaders, Mike. Let's do it quick now. Really been a two-person show. Uh, number zero, Destiny Robinson with eight points in the first half. Number one, Sofia Maldonado with six. And, Mike, I was going to mention to you, at halftime, Maldonado, their senior, bringing everybody together, kind of getting them focused. It's a younger group with St. Mary's. They probably haven't been in this position in a long time. And that's where your senior leadership on the other side really comes into focus. I look for her to have a big half. St. Mary's in the white. We'll move right to left here in the second half. Robinson up top to Thompson. Here's a three-pointer for Carr. A little too strong. Battle for it underneath. Boy, these girls are getting after it, Mike. Well, I'm sure in the halftime, both coaches were like, hey, you have 16 minutes and maybe more to claim this championship. Leave it all out there. Tie up sends the ball to Sacred Heart. Just underway here, third quarter. Sacred Heart up by a point. Kiernan is doubled, gives it up. Here's Kiernan, right wing three. Off the front of the iron, knocked around underneath. Kiernan comes away with it. And she's fouled. Sacred Heart early here in the first opening minutes. Getting after the ball, showing a little bit more spunk. St. Mary's better raise their level here or it's going to be a little bit of a, a scrap for the rest of this half. Feet getting ready to put it in. Up top, Kiernan fires away for three. Bingo. A wide open Annie Kiernan off that. When she can catch and have time, that's always going down. Sacred Heart up by four, their biggest of the game. Staying in their 2 3 zone. Allowing perimeter passing here, Mike, but nothing inside. Oh. Cabero, nice dish, Maldonado. Back outside for Carr. She hits from downtown. Huge shot right there for Carr. Matching Sacred Heart. Frone looks to drive inside. And it's stolen by Thompson. Thompson on the drive inside. Off the glass. Can't get it to go. But offensive board by Cubero. It's Carr for three, in and out. Robinson boards. Again, it's knocked around underneath. Both teams looking for a call on that drive. No call. They've been consistent on that all game. Maldonado looking inside, now drives. Left-handed shot is blocked by Sussman. Sussman, fantastic defense. Got beat a little bit off the dribble, but recovered and was able to block the ball out of bounds. Eight seconds on the shot clock here for St. Mary's. Sussman had that one sussed out. <laughs> Spin move, Maldonado puts it home with the left. There's your senior stepping it up. First two possessions, she's had the ball and taking shots. Frone. Swings it around, Thiek, her shot's too strong. Carr is back the other way. They try to trap her, she gets it across to Maldonado. Thompson, now Cubero. Robinson, left-hand shot, in! You can see the pace starting to pick up. Coach Bosbeck 
looking a little concerned on the sidelines, but he's going to let it go. At least one more possession here. It's knocked away. Thiek is after it. So is Robinson. Rough play on the floor. Coach Speck wants to travel, and instead he's going to get a foul call on Thiek. You see on the rebound, looked like both players were going for it. They've kind of been letting that go, but but Tom Sheehan makes the call on the hold. At least for Sacred Heart there, if you're going to give a foul, it's an aggressive foul trying to get after the ball. Thompson directs traffic as she brings it up across the car. She's got Elwood on her. She shakes her, puts it up, and Kiernan pulls it down. One shot and out is good news for Sacred Heart. Sussman waits for help across to Kiernan. In the lane, Sussman. Frone stops, pops, it drops. Another huge shot for Emma Frone. Catching the ball off the dribble, hits the baseline jumper. St. Mary's up one. In the lane, Thompson puts it up lefty. Shot is off the mark. And we've got a loose ball foul. It's going on Destiny Robinson. Off the miss, slight push off, being a little too aggressive. Sacred Heart, like we said before, if they can limit to one shot and out, that's the game they want to play. Kiernan brings it up herself, and Thompson intercepts the pass. Sacred Heart keeps. St. Mary's in the man-to-man, -man. they call black high. Looks like we're double teaming. Each dribble's a, a double team, very aggressive. And you can see it paid dividends right there, Mike. Elwood loses it out of bounds, back over to the Gales. Coach White wants his girls to go quick right here as Cubero brings it up. Thompson, right wing. Inside Robinson. Back out. Left corner, Cubero shots off the mark. And it's pulled down once again by Froh. Great ball movement, but off the mark right there. Elwood has to work hard to lose Cubero. Gives it up feet. Deke looks for Kiernan, can't find her. Back outside Elwood. Now to Kiernan. She's triple teamed, and they tie her up. Elwood doing a nice job, though, handling pressure, getting the ball across, trying to find her teammates. Not the worst that can happen right there, Mike. It was deep into the shot clock, still playing at the slower pace that favors them. Kayla Solomon back in for St. Mary's. Boy, that defense really collapsed on Kiernan on that play. Absolutely. They're trying to attack from the inside out, drive and kick. It's really working right into St. Mary's wheelhouse at this moment. Solomon over to Carr. Swings it right wing, Cubero. Cubero drives in, puts it up, it's blocked. And back the other way is Sacred Heart. Little contact there, but they let it go as they have been most of this game. Feek to Kiernan on the run. She's grabbed, but puts it up. And we got a foul. It's going to go on Kubera. You see here on the replay, great middle cut by Kiernan on the catch. Two players collapse, no doubt on that. You know, Mike, if. Sacred Heart can continue to attack the middle and get shots from the outside. Kiernan at the line where she's money, she puts in the first. Absolutely, and then that softens up the middle for a drive like that. So right now, Sacred Heart on the tie and takes the lead. We saw Kiernan two years ago as a sophomore hit six free throws down the stretch to advance Sacred Heart. No matter where they're playing, she's money in the late part of the game. Priester, 
Right wing car, back up top, Priester. 10 seconds to shoot for St. Mary's. Priester drives in, puts it up. Too strong, seat clears. Every time they drive, there's Andy Kiernan trying to plug the middle, forcing one shot and out. Thiek has been a demon on the backboard. Definitely the recipient of the help defense. Thiek pumps it into Kiernan. Thiek with the jumper, that's off the mark. Scramble on the floor, Robinson comes away. Here's Maldonado. Back to Robinson, nicely done oh, for two. Fantastic pass right there, threading the needle. It was two on two, but there was no way they were pulling out of that. St. Mary's back up by a point, under two minutes to play in the third. Elwood brings it up. Really some high level basketball these last two minutes, Mike. Elwood puts oh. it up and in, and the foul. The rim was kind there on the drive. Everything seems to be going in right now for Sacred Heart, or at least when they're getting close to the basket. You see here, a great drive, splits the D, a little late on the help. Haley Elwood, another one of the seniors providing some leadership, looking to complete the three-point play. Puts it up, and it's good. Got a 30-second timeout here, Mike. Sacred Heart extending it to a full. We're going to keep it right here as you take a look at Coach Bob Speck. And we mentioned this a couple times, Mike. A lot of these girls are seniors. They're mature. They've been playing together for a long time. And we saw how that's paying dividends for them this afternoon. Absolutely. As you see Coach Speck talking to Sacred Heart, they're not seeming to get rattled even after turnovers. They're accepting the fact that they're going to turn the ball over every now and again, maybe take a bad shot, but it's not affecting them. You can see right there, that's what the senior leadership is all about, making free throws, driving to the basket. St. Mary's having a little bit of difficulty kind of keeping their composure. Uh, still right here within the game, 28-26. But this is probably, for Coach White, kind of his worst nightmare going into the fourth quarter, either down or close, where it really becomes a half-court game. Favors Sacred Heart, got to be honest. As far as you and I concern, we're happy to have a close game down the stretch. Under two minutes left in the third, and Sacred Heart up by a deuce. Good for us, but it's Pepto-Bismol time for all the fans. Fitzpatrick to Robinson. Right side, Priester off the mark. And it's pulled down by Elwood. Once again, one shot and out. Down to a minute 10 left in the quarter. Sacred Heart up by two. Left corner shot, no good. Battle for it underneath. Here's a tie up, but they're gonna call Kiernan on the foul. A little too aggressive on her part. Tough one there. You know, three players going for the ball. On a held ball, it would have been Sacred Hearts. So you can understand the fact. A minute left in the third. Spartans up by a pair. Priester to Solomon. She backs up on the dribble. Priester up top, gets a screen, drives down, back up. Fitzpatrick, shot's no good, knocked around underneath. Robinson offensive board. Maldonado shot from the left corner, no good. Robinson again, and this time she travels. Fantastic effort by Sacred Heart on the defensive boards, causing the travel. Got 20, 26 and a half seconds left. St. Mary's gonna pick up full court. Great move right here, not allowing them just to get it a quick out. Kiernan able to corral that one, ahead to Frome. Back outside, Elwood, three goes! Wow, that's one of those shots where you're going, no, 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 we're gonna hold for one, and when it goes in, you go, great job. Down to five seconds left. Solomon drives, puts it up. 
That's the end of the quarter. We've got a good one. Sacred Heart up 31-26 over St. Mary's. We're going to step away and be back with the fourth quarter right after this. This is the Orlin and Cohen High School Basketball Championship Game of the Week. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orlin and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. five-yard line. Weeks to put it up right away. He's got a man open. Touchdown, King Carr. John Cliff in by Cliff. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? Fourth quarter now underway from here at Farmingdale. Kiernan loses it. Maldonado takes it away. Stops and waits for help. Kiernan harasses her. She gives it up. Right wing. Long shot. No good. Nice rebound, Sussman. Another hustle play. Sacred Heart up by five, looking to add on. Sussman nearly loses it, but we've got a foul called on St. Mary's. So here we are, Mike. Seven and a half minutes to go, fourth quarter. St. Mary's down five. This has got to be uncharted waters for them, having gone undefeated in the league. A senior team in Sacred Heart really setting itself up for a fantastic finish. Foul went on Kayla Solomon. Here's Kiernan. Wow, nice strip by Maldonado on her way to the basket. And it's going over to St. Mary's. If St. Mary's is going to win this game, I think Sophia Maldonado is going to be the prime time player. I'm talking about a senior. Has gotten two steals already in this quarter. Playing under, under control. Needs to give that to the rest of her teammates. Maldonado looks inside, now gives it up up top, Fitzpatrick. Thompson into the lane, nearly loses it. Fitzpatrick gets it back. Baseline shot, no good. And Kiernan finally cleans the glass. Elwood, drive inside, can't get it to go. Offensive board, Kiernan. Elwood thought about the shot. Instead, Sussman fires away, and it's pulled down by Thompson. Ahead to Maldonado. Maldonado drives inside and is fouled. That's a tough one there because if you watch on the replay, Maldonado drops the shoulder a little bit. Kind of creates the contact, but she did not have good position. They called it on the floor, which is surprising as well. That should be two. St. Mary's is asking why. I have the same question. For St. Mary's, Sophia Camus checks into the game for the first time. Number 22. Gets right to work, and she gives it off up top to Solomon, who backs up on the dribble. St. She's Mary's got Elwood little, on her. Sorry, Mike. St. Mary's a little too content to rely on the outside shot. This is a tough gym to shoot in. They haven't played in a facility like this all season. Solomon gets off an out of control shot, and it's pulled down by Kiernan. Once again, a little out of sync, relying on the outside shot. Had nothing going on that. 
Kiernan looking for it on the run. They can't get it to her. Instead, it's Sussman who puts it up. Off the rim. Stuffed back in by Frohn. Just outworking St. Mary's at the moment. Maldonado is bumped off the play by Elwood, and that foul is going to go on Haley Elwood. Another smart play by Maldonado. Saw her defender out of position, said, I'm going to take it to the basket, cause a foul. Sky Priester is back in for St. Mary's. They trail now by seven points. Solomon has Elwood guarding her tightly. Not sure who said it, Mike, but it's getting late early here, it seems, for St. Mary's. They need a bucket in the worst way. Hamas is open, fires away, can't hit the shot. And Frome once again pulls it down. Elwood dribbles outside, gives it off to Thief. Nearly has a pick. Here's Elwood, content to take some time. Thiek outside Kiernan. Two to shoot. Elwood puts it up. Can't get it to go. Offensive board by Frone. Stick back, it's no good. We've got a battle for it. We've got a tie up. And Saint Ma Saint Sacred Heart control. Just a fantastic job by Haley Elwood and Emma Frome. Elwood especially having the ball under control, never looking flustered whatsoever, finding their teammates, get a tie up, catch the ball, fresh 30, best case scenario for Sacred Heart. Elwood to Kiernan. Now Sussman, left wing three, no good. Ooh, that might have been a dagger right there. And St. Mary's is gonna take over. You know something else, Mike, besides the distance behind the, the backboards here, I can tell you I've had teams play here, we, we struggled shooting. The lines are a little weird as well. It's the college lines, and you can see them shooting from behind, from behind those lines instead of the high school lines. 4.15 left. St. Mary's trails by seven. Camus on the dribble. Gets a screen from Robinson. Has Gotta to go give up it up. That. Priester drives baseline, puts it up, and it's rebounded by Sussman. Each possession that goes by without St. Mary's scoring puts that much more pressure on the next possession. Now Sacred Heart wants to bleed some clock. Frome, baseline jumper, that goes. Huge, just like we said, Emma Frome once again. Big rebounds, big shots, we got a timeout St. Mary's. We're gonna keep it right here. Mike, you take a look at Sacred Heart on your screen. We talked about senior leadership. Throne, a terrific game. Thief, a really good game. Sussman, Elwood, all seniors, all step into the plate. It hasn't re really been Kiernan, it's really been her supporting cast here today. Absolutely, and that's the beautiful thing about basketball, especially in a championship game. Sacred Heart really showing what a team is all about, spreading the ball. Defense is tremendous. You can see the fans here right now, very excited. We're under four minutes, three and a half to go. They're up nine. This is gonna be a gut check. What's even better right now for Sacred Heart, Mike, you know St. Mary's gonna turn up the pressure. They have four timeouts left, Sacred Heart. So anytime they can get in trouble here, they can burn a timeout to keep possession of the ball. It's gonna be a tough task. You got one foul for St. Mary's, two for Sacred Heart. So that's not really an issue at the moment. Coach White actually just asking how many team fouls he's got at the moment. He's gotta give a few here if he's gonna make this a free throw game. And don't forget, we've still got a boys semifinal following this. Jaminat against St. Mary's boys. That's gonna be a good one. Well, this one has lived up to its billing and more. We were just hoping for a Sacred Heart to keep it close. They've done that and then some. Coach, coach, you got four. Our official, Tommy Sheehan, telling Coach Tommy. White he's got 14 fouls right now. A little confusion about how many timeouts each team has. 
Not a lot of time here for St. Mary's. Got to go to the basket quickly. Priester gives it up. Robinson banks it home. Great drive and dish. Big shot right there by Robinson. They needed it. Get the quick turnover also. Sacred Heart just got to settle down. Make St. Mary's play, play out the clock again. Still have a seven point lead. Priester up top. It's all high screen and roll now for St. Mary's. Priester, some fancy dribbling. She can't hit the shot. Oh, tremendous move, but you gotta finish that. Kiernan with the big board. They're saying she turned it over, did Haley Elwood. Tough call right there. Referees are conferring at half court to see if it was in fact a violation. That wasn't a violation. It was already crossed. Our Looks like they're going to keep it as is. Coming over to our no explanation, though. I would, I'd be asking as well. 2.35 left in the game. Desperation time for St. Mary's. They need a bucket. Robinson draws the contact and is going to step to the line. Looked like Cannon was trying to draw the offensive foul there. Really didn't need to do that. Good solid D. I think wouldn't it? Basket wouldn't have went either way. But free throw shooting now. Let's see what the sophomore Robinson does. As we mentioned, Mike. 14 boards a game, 11 points. Let's see the free throws. First free throw is an air ball. Yes. I think the crowd is going to let her hear about it, too. It's a nervous moment. You can see young young player not in this position once again. See how she rallies on the next one. One of our officials, Ralph Fornalis, at the desk to continue to explain that prior call as Robinson is at the free throw line. They're also double checking Mike on, on timeouts. They had told Coach Kevin White he had four. Looks like he has three. This is also, this is also very tough as a shooter. You just airballed your first shot. You're waiting for your next shot. Going over a minute here, having to take the next one. This is what happens in these big games, Mike, as you know as well as anybody. Every timeout becomes huge, every team foul becomes huge, and you want to make sure, as a coach, you're conferring with the officials to verify that the information you have is correct. I can understand why, why Coach White is confused. They told him he had four, now they went to three. These guys are the official book, right? All right, so you're the official book. How many timeouts you do? I have uh, six left, I think. So the, the question still is how many timeouts are left. Are you related to him? And then there's, unfortunately, two minutes hey, literally have play. gone by before this young lady's been able to shoot a free throw. They're trying to calm her down. Really, this would be a lot to ask a professional player to wait two minutes in between shooting a free throw. Here you have a sophomore in high school who had a tough one on the first. Let's see how she responds. Robinson puts the second one up. It bounces around. Won't go in and is pulled down by Kiernan. Now St. Mary's has to turn up the heat defensively. St. Mary's got to give some fouls here. Yep, good ball right there, red ball. Rome almost had it taken away, but she keeps possession. If you're Bob Speck, you're saying, hey, they're coming after us, guys. They're trying to foul. You got to call it. Elwood gets it in and then gets it back from Frome. They better give one soon. Up top, Kiernan. Here's Thief. Kiernan's open. Frome oh, drives the baseline. Oh, and we've got a shot, shot clock, clock violation. violation. 
Not the worst thing, though, Mike Trezza. Not the worst thing. You run 30 seconds off the clock. You still have a seven-point lead. Not the worst thing. Priester up top. Direct strap. Hammers looks inside. Maldonado. Taking too much time here. Hammers tries to reverse layup, no good. Sacred Heart gets the board and gets fouled hard. Feet. It's actually a smart foul right there by St. Mary's. They're giving one. See the drive just a little bit too deep. You might as well go for the ball and get a foul here. You either get the steal or you're getting yourself. Only two team fouls for St. Mary's. They're going to have to give two quick ones here. It's got it's steal or foul, I would think, here, Mike. You see they're double teaming. 35-28 football score. A minute and a half left in the game. They get it up top, Kiernan. When in doubt, get it to Kiernan. She was double teamed, got herself open. Elwood has Maldonado in her pocket. This time, Camus bumps her, and Camus is going to get whistled again. So here we go, three team fouls, minute 25 on the clock. Surprise, St. Mary's not going for a foul quicker. St. Mary's foul number 22. They probably have not needed to do this the entire season, Mike. Kiernan gets it up top, feet. Back to Kiernan. Kiernan getting a lot of heat. Two travels that look like they got away with. Elwood is bumped off the play by Maldonado, and they're going to call Maldonado. So, Mike, we got one minute and eight seconds left in this game. Sacred Heart literally, if they play it right, would not need to make a basket for the rest of this game to win. They're either going to be shooting free throws or working clock. As long as they hold on to the ball, they're in great shape. Fourth team foul on St. Mary's. A minute eight left in this game. Throne is grabbed around the waist. No yeah, ball there. How do you miss that one? Finally, a foul on St. Mary's. That's going to give you five. Solomon checks back in for St. Mary's, as you know who. Steps to the free throw strike. Listen, two shots the rest of the way. This is the one play you don't want on the line. And I jinxed it. The announcer's jinx. <laughs> Sacred Heart fans, I promise I will keep my mouth shut. That was Mike Godone. You can write to him at... Kiernan hits the second. All right, no doubt she made that second. A minute left in the game. Sacred Heart by eight. Here's Priester on the drive. Shot won't go. Thrown again has been a monster on the glass. Pull it out. There we go. Deke showing some of that senior leadership. She had a chance to drive baseline and back off. Outstanding. Sacred Heart looking at the clock right now. All the players, they're feeling it. You know, Mike, Emma Frome, as you mentioned, she's been just tremendous on the defensive glass. She's been on the spot each time. The recipient of fantastic defense by Erin and Kiernan. She has just plugged up the middle. They've thrown up some tough shots. She's been there each time to grab the rebound. Feet, the junior, misses both of them. And it's pulled down by Camus. Got to go right to the rim. Hands off quickly to Solomon. Solomon launches for three off the front of the rim and pulled down once again by Feet. So as we talked about about a minute ago, Mike, Sacred Heart doing exactly what they had hoped they could do. Hold on to the basketball. Get fouled. Hopefully make their free throws. But the, the, the stop and go both ways is not helping St. Mary's because they have not been able to hit. Colleen Feek back at the line. Can't hit the first one. 
even miss the pair and now hits, misses the front end. It's tough, but hey, listen, she makes one here. It's a three possession game. So just got to bear down and make this one. Thief gets it down. There you go. Got a full timeout. St. Mary's with a full time. We're going to stay right here, and I'll tell you, Mike, Sacred Heart now up by nine, 25 seconds left. You hear this crowd behind us. They are absolutely roaring their approval. This is an absolute shot right here. There are, you can take a look at the Sacred Heart players. Some of them have an incredulous look on their face, like, what are we about to do? Nothing beats an upset in the playoffs, especially in the finals. But you can see Coach Speck, he's talking to his players, hey, settle down, we haven't run, we haven't won anything yet. It's a tremendous team we're playing. Just play out these 25 seconds the right way. But you, you can't fault the rest of the team. You're feeling the excitement that's probably gonna happen here. I guarantee he told his girls during the week, all week, they're gonna try to take Kieran in the way, and you, Elwood, Sussman, Crone, hey, and Feet, have to step up and be big in this game, and they have been. Here's Solomon for three. Too strong. Kiernan pulls it down. She gets fouled, and that's pretty much gonna put a wrap on it. All right, can I say it now that that's who we want on the foul line? We can say. Because I believe, no matter what the outcome here, Sacred Heart about to pull off one of the great upsets you'll see. We talked about Coach Speck, 25 years at the helm. It's about to come to fruition for him in a big, big upset in this game. And Mike, since we talked about it at one minute and seven seconds, how many two-point baskets has Sacred Heart made? Not a one. And yet they're up 11 points. We're going to step away and be back with the last 19 seconds right after this. This is TND Sports Video brought to you by Orlin and Cole. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. 19 seconds left, Camus from deep. Robinson offensive oh. board. And we've got a foul call that's gonna go on Emma from. Actually went on Kieran and Mike. It's a tough one there. She felt she was going straight up. You don't want to stop the clock. But I believe this cushion is great enough. You really don't have to be too concerned about it. Robinson back at the line. She rolls the first one in. Much better attempt than her last two. See if they can pull off a little magic here with 14 seconds left. That one's off the mark. Pulled down by Throne. Hands off to Kiernan. Gets it across to Elwood. That's going to do it. Deke is going to dribble it out. And that's going to do it. Sacred Heart with a convincing 10-point victory over St. Mary's. Improbable, but not impossible. And we'll watch him celebrate. An absolute no doubter, Mike. You said it. What a wonderful accomplishment for this team with so many seniors, been together a long time. You can see just pure joy. Tough break for St. Mary's, the perennial champions. But showed class the whole way, played hard, didn't show frustration. A lot of great sportsmanship being shown. Nice embrace between Coach White and Coach Speck right in front of us. All the girls congratulating each other, showing a lot of sportsmanship and a big 10-point upset 
by Sacred Heart over St. Mary's, who, as we said, Mike, ran completely roughshod over this league this year, winning games by an average of 28 points per contest. Well, when you have that and you're in a tight game, number one, in the playoffs, two, you're in a college gymnasium with this atmosphere, how difficult, how difficult it is to shoot here, and you haven't been in a position where you have to foul, you have to play the half-court game. It's a lot to ask. Yeah, it really is, and our award ceremony is going to start in just a moment or two. I'll tell you, I don't know how, if you're Sacred Heart, you can top this. I mean, state championships are great in their classification, but when you take out a St. Mary's, who you said has just run the table here constantly, it doesn't get much better. Sophia Maldonado accepting for St. Mary's. Nothing to be ashamed about. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Morgan O'Connor, head coach Bob Smith, and your champion, Sacred Horn! We are now going to call out each player individually, so for the most head back to the bench. What? Seemed like she came up with a huge rebound every time down the floor, Mike. There you see Sacred Heart posing for pictures. They are the champions of the 
A-N-S-C-H-G-A-A. Final score once again, Sacred Heart 39, St. Mary's 29. That's going to do it for here at Farmingdale. We're back with another game in 30 minutes.